historically, the Sarmiento can probably speak to this more than I can. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong with Sarmiento, but when the students first started, this is you were a student here, this was the students presenting pretty much just to the students. Yeah. So, and, and it has uh, grown in, into something very, very nice. But that's why we asked the students to be seated first, just because we want this to be for them first. And of course, parents, we're, we're thrilled to have you and family, extended family, welcome very much. So I think without further ado, I'll uh, turn it over to Mike Roberts and uh, Sarah Rasmussen. Okay. to make this video all the pictures that have been taken throughout the season so hope you enjoy it. Yeah, Marking things is like a cup of coffee and it's great if it's not too hot or too cold. I have the greatest memories of hard work and fun traveling on the weekends when we compete, weird adventures on the bus and wondering when we'll eat, being part of the guard proof that I was capable of doing, surviving all the practices, competitions, parades and games, early morning call times and late night returns, Back to back fun cold weekends that seem to last forever, but when I look back now, it all went by too quickly. I understand firsthand when they say, when I go and get tough spin. So I hope we can win tonight and perform the school song upside down. I will always remember being part of the Sandbring Marching Band. We're the best band all around, so let's give us a hand. Many memories, friendship and camaraderie, time to get up, do hair and makeup, competitions and parades, performances and football games. Once is luck, twice is skill, receiving endless emails, life lessons learned, medals earned, final show, end of the road, conflicting feelings, bittersweet. On my dresser, all of you are enshrined until the end of time from our photo at the night out against the crime. Any picture frames simply would not do, so naturally, I went out and bought one new. Why all this fuss over a picture frame, you ask? I will try my best to sum it up quite fast. We are a team, but we are so much more. You are my family, the reason I smile for. I found the most perfect frame for a picture. On it, it says, family share a history of cherished memories, full of warmth and laughter, love and affection. As this chapter of my life closes and the next begins, I leave you with this. We are a family, and families are together forever. Never apart, maybe in distance, but never at heart. It all started way back in eighth grade with Jacqueline, spinning our mitts in the outfield, practicing a routine for trials. Just so you all know, I messed up my audition, walked out in the middle, but I'm still here today. But that was only the beginning of my journey and the many lessons learned. I danced through the rise and fall of Rome, learned the zodiac signs, <coughs> spent Thanksgiving in Hawaii, experienced classic schizophrenia, and painted it black in rock and royal. I've learned to always bring my room key and clothes when I shower at camp so I don't get locked out of my room naked, <laughs> and in my pants before pregame so they don't fall off in the middle of the field. But I couldn't have done it without my fellow marching eagles whom I spent more time with than my own family and the memories they've helped me create. Matt, thanks for always being my partner in crime these past four years. Wait, where's the 45? LOL, hey, by done. Oh yeah, sorry, Flags, rifles definitely have more fun. We've been through it all, the, the blood, sweat, laughs, concussions, and tears, and I guarantee you, Build Me Up Buttercup will be stuck in my head for years. Peter, you will always be my favorite. Nolan, you're my brother from another mother. And Sarah, oopsie daisies, I dropped my phone. Hot, just kidding, I got mad and threw it over the balcony in Hawaii. <laughs> um, excuse me, why is the color guard running into the forest? Hey Nathan, when's the 5K? Hashtag mom help. Shout out to the Fab Five. Don't drop that dun dun. Yay! And baby Lolo, you're the cutest child. Thanks for always making my day. KP and Aaron, I don't want easy, I just want crazy. Thanks for being the greatest friends I've ever had. But please promise me you won't be too sad. Can't forget my twinny Emily, who's always full of cheer. And Colleen, I'm so happy we got so close this year. But my journey is slowly coming to an end, and it was quite the climb. So thank you, Marching Eagles, for such a good time. P.S. Just do better. Wow, you are told high school years go by so fast, and it's hard to know how to make them last. You try everything and anything to pretend they don't, but in reality, they are just four years. No, four very important years. My years began with Remember Whens. Remember when Julie Frem wrote her whole senior poem in them? And that left behind little innocent helpless freshmen on the guard. We changed and learned over the next three years. 
Emily and I found our pre-game ritual of pink rare, showing we can totally handle all the, all the high school girls and their drama. Kelly and I found our undefeatable team, Mac and Jack. We are better than Mac and Cheese. We, have our, we are practically si sisters, and if we choreograph the show, it'll just be 45s all night long. Natalie and I promised each other we won't stop, drop that dun da dun Hey, I mean gun to gun At least not on the field. Sarah always insisted on remembering all the routines no one ever liked, and miraculously almost all of them came back. <laughs> Taylor, Rachel, and Cook and I learned that being friends is super easy when I talk enough for all three of us. <laughs> then this past year I was blessed with my little sister Nicole on the guard. Yes, I am older, and no, we are not twins. <laughs> Together we have learned it is harder getting two guard girls out of the house than one. Now, now all my other girls on the guard, and I have learned that is, to make me very happy, all you need is a juice box and even offer me a hug. It works wonders. Now the guard is very clickish, yes, but in my four years I have met some very nice band members too. Sean and I learned you must have your heels together in first position, especially if you want a spinning hug. Smalls and I learned I am very, very tiny and always tired. Oh, and Smalls, I may have forgot to tell you, you, are, you always know how to make me smile. Now for Nathaniel and I. We learned it is proper to give, the only proper way to give a hug is a bear hug. And there's no mercy unless one person is saying ouch at the end. Oh, Mike, 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 Mike! <laughs> I'm sorry I missed hump day again. Miss Cassiato and I learned we spend more time together as a guard than with our real family sometimes. On that note, my mom. My mom and dad, thank you so much for hearing me complain about, well, like my entire life over the past four years. I know it isn't easy, but I love you so very much for it. These are my four years, my very important four years at Carl Sandburg. Years I am proud to say I'm part of the Carl Sandburg Marching Band. Ever since sixth grade, I've wanted to be captain of the Sandberg Guard, and I'm so thankful that I was given the opportunity to be rifle captain this year. My rifles, as he told me every day, you are the most dysfunctional weapon line that the school has ever had. <laughs> ever. That said, you have made this, this such a fun season for me, and I thank you for that. To all of the Guard, I love each of you so much, and I'm thankful that you, that I'm thankful that you are all part of this Guard and part of my life. Your strength and effort has inspired me to work harder and be all that I could be for you this year. I'll miss you all so much next year, but I'll come back every once in a while to do 500 drop spins with you. Um, <laughs> oh, Mr. Bailey and Mr. Armiento, thank you for running this fantastic program and allowing me to be a part of it. Because of you, I've learned such fantastic phrases, including, it's fun to be good, and I'm so excited I might just start punching people. <laughs> Pastor Michelle, I cannot put into words how thankful I am for all that you've done for me this year. I learned to just do better and push myself to success. Freshman year, I really didn't see how 200 people could be a family, but we really are. All of us have helped each other when we needed it most and cheered others on when they spread their wings and soared. I will always be honored to have, part of, to have been part of the Marching Eagles with you. Freshman year, when the show was The Rise and Fall of Rome, I knew that marching band was my home. My first, first Sandberg home game was at Andrew High School. After performing in front of everyone, I thought this was so cool. Sophomore year came, wow, what a blast. I wish that Dancing Through the Stars and Zodiac would always last. And who can't forget that when we marched in Hawaii for that amazing parade, we showed everyone that Sandberg's band has it made. Ever since Hawaii, friendships were stronger. During, year, during junior year, the practices seemed longer. At first, I thought I was crazy, but then I realized our show was classic schizophrenia. <laughs> I know that didn't rhyme. I just ran out of time. Um, this year, we are rocking out with Led Zeppelin, Queen, The Beatles, and The Rolling Stones. These four years went by so fast, it seems like I just learned flutters and cones. Although, I am a senior! Just in case of all of you were wondering, um, my friends and memories will never part because marching band will always be in my heart. And a few quick thoughts after this poem. Mr. Armiento, uh, we still need to go Black Friday shopping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pratilla's hot dogs, home, home on the range. Um, freshman year late start Wednesday practices, I caramba, and no! Oh yeah, color guard, yeah. Yeah. 
to Aaron, Jack, Kelly, and Mac, thank you girls for always having my back. To Lolo, the best little sister I've ever had. Promise me you won't be too sad. KP, this poem, though. Aaron, WTP on the bus ride home with me. Emily, LOL, K by, done. <laughs> Shout out to the Fab Five. We really do live interesting lives. And to my rifle, we have come such a long way, and here is something that I would like to say. Thanks for giving me concussion. I think it's time we've had a long discussion. <laughs> I've learned a couple things that I now know are true. One more time is always a lie. You really do have to try. And four years of marching band really do fly by. There wasn't a practice where I didn't come home sore, and there wasn't a game that I didn't adore, and there, are, there wasn't a competition where we didn't try for more. We saw Rome fall, we danced in the stars, we turned schizophrenic and became rock stars. From pregame to halftime to the spirit chant and more, I will always remember the good times and laughs that now mean so much more. But tonight is our last game, so let's give them a reason why we came, because without guard, high school would never be the same. Now wait, where's the 45? <laughs> I love marching band. Even when I play in 90 degree weather, I march what seemed like miles or practice when it was singing. <coughs> My friends in marching bands are crazy, as in Rachel was afraid of the toilet in our hotel room in Hawaii crazy. <laughs> friends make everything seem more sane than they really are, especially when me and Courtney washed our feet in the sink in the hotel room. <laughs> when it starts to downpour and half the band is playing in the rain, Mr. Bailey makes you take the long way back to the band room. <laughs> You will never be too old to ride the carousel at the mall in Dubai. If your flight is longer than three hours, sleep, otherwise you're going to fall asleep at dinner. Never fall asleep at a restaurant with Courtney and Rachel. They'll clap in your face and scare you awake. <laughs> um, never play the song Firework while shooting fireworks off over a hill. They'll start the hill on fire. <laughs> the friends you make in marching band will stick by your side no matter what. And no matter, no matter how hard you try, you will get the band cold. End of story. <laughs> Our marching band family is amazing, and I couldn't ask for better players. Music is an art and escape in pretty much my life. My freshman year, I knew no one at Sandberg, and now four years later, I have amazing friends and memories. The Hawaii trip was awesome. We wish we never came back. So, uh, Rachel and Courtney, how was the room mix up? <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, whenever you need to wash ink off your legs, use the sink. Rachel, it's just a toilet. <coughs> Michelle, did you go to Hawaii? Leslie, what do we say after defense, defense? No, you don't have to spell defense! <laughs> Courtney, we have softball games and marching band. Rachel, I didn't have a repeat from U of I. Michelle, y'all need Geo. <laughs> Courtney, and gentlemen. Leslie and Rebecca, remember the limp wrist? <laughs> Rebecca, uh, Rebecca Birdie. Courtney, I'm planning a road trip to California and Tam to visit Tamara. You want to come with? Yes. Oh, I guess today is Fox Friday. I can't believe four years went by so fast. My life is starting out to turn out the way I want it. And I'm glad I have the friends I have now. Miss you guys. Oh, and Grace, forever dose. Dose! <laughs> to think of what to write in this poem since my freshman year. And I've also been trying to make it rhyme. After deeming this impossible, this is what I wrote. Band is a place? No. Band is an activity? No. Band is a cult? No. <laughs> Band is a feeling. It's one of those feelings where you can't describe it. You hate it, and sometimes even dread taking part of it because you had a bad day or you don't like people in it. But looking back on it, you'll find there's no place you'd rather be. Because you know that without band, you wouldn't know what to do with your life. The people I've met these past four years in this wonderful family called Marching Band have impacted me in ways that I can't even describe. Don't worry, Sarah. Even though it's senior night, you can still push me off the stage at graduation so I can't leave. And I will bring your kitty to band camp next year. <laughs> Christina, where'd you go? You will always be my freshman. Forever. And Bajos? I ordered your bubble a week ago. It should be here next week. 
<laughs> to Emily Greenfield and Kelly Mack, whenever I think of Rock and Royal, I will always give you a wink when I can. And to Leslie, my best friend, my pickle of wolf's not spittling on me. It's getting annoying. You should fix it. I blame those stupid mongooses for messing up the room. Must have something to do with it. I will never forget any of you, and don't worry. We'll find Raul someday. To the Marching Eagle class of 2014, all I wish to say is don't lose that feeling of bands. It's a feeling of community and family. You hate your family sometimes, but realize quickly that you can't live without them. What's an eagle? Always an eagle. So I typed in marching band on Google, and I found a definition that explains everything. Marching band, a noun. Your new life. Sums it up. Where are you Friday night at a football game marching halftime? What about Saturday? Oh, marching contest. Sunday, a parade, and a contest. Are you ever free? Yeah, try me like in November, December. <laughs> ever since freshman year, everyone thinks about where they're going to write in their senior poem. Yet when the time actually comes, no one can find themselves doing it. So people ask, what's so great about band? And I think of all the little different memories, like getting hurt every season. Uh, and how my friends and family make fun of me and say they're going to put me into a bubble. <laughs> you love me, you know. Or the funny things directors say, like, take a stand, and they whip out a music stand. Or, I'm so excited I might just start people. <laughs> or the little random things people do, like Vicky Haxis, Alexis Abadoodle, and Sarah Raz doing a swag march step style. <laughs> Interesting. It, um, there was also a time during a night rehearsal in the stadium. We were double timing into the tunnel for pregame. I fell, tucked into a somersault, popped back up in line, and somehow managed to stay in step. It was beautiful. <laughs> There's also how we turned a parade into a water park in the driver's ed lot, playing slip and slide on asphalt. <laughs> so, what's so great about that? It's the experience and the friends you make. You'll never forget it. that marching band is like a family, and after spending four years with this crazy group, I now understand exactly what they meant. My darling flutes, you are the older sister who thinks that you know everything and have the right answer for everything. Yeah. <laughs> Even though she may be annoying at times, life would not be the same without her to keep control of the younger siblings. To the dear clarinets, who are the super smart child of a family whom everyone is impressed with, but they seem to not care much about anyone. Um, your potential is beyond your appearance, I assure you. <laughs> to the saxes, you are definitely that crazy, weird uncle or aunt that everyone has. <laughs> Chases all the little kids around with masks and telling jokes and always keeping the family smiling. <laughs> To the Malifones, who are the really quiet member of the family who never talks during family functions, but when you do say something, it is strictly profound and beautiful. The Guard, you are the overreact, overachieving, underappreciated college student who spends more hours than anyone else working extremely hard to achieve your lifelong goal of success in life. Your ambition is matched by none and your mother at all. The Trombones, you are like the family cat. <laughs> about your obnoxiousness. <laughs> Puppets, you are like the family dog. <laughs> Always playful and easy to get along with, while constantly alert and ready to warn with an alarm of any immediate danger. <laughs> Sousaphones, you are the tough guys to support and stand up for the family when they are in need. Percussion, you represent the youngest child in the family who runs around screaming, breaking things. <laughs> Child. However, a toddler can keep a family together with their innocence and adoration. The directors and drum majors, you are definitely the patriarch, keeping everything in check and creating an everlasting strength to keep the family together. And I cannot forget the wonderful band moms, who are definitely the mother of the family, preparing everything and cleaning up behind the scenes and always making little remedies to keep the family functional. So thank you, family, for four wonderful, fun-filled years and music and numbers. It's senior night. Gosh, where did the time go? Today is filled with so much happiness, memories, sorrow, and so much more. 
honestly, the reason I waited till Monday night to write this was because I did not even want to start reminiscing and realizing this is it. I cannot believe these two years have flown by so quickly. I've always regretted quitting, quitting band going into my freshman year. Starting out as a freshman, I grew to despise being at Sandberg and hardly associating myself with Sandberg kids. I remember sitting in the crowd at a pub <coughs> assembly freshman year and watching the band, wishing I could be a part of it. What made me want to join so bad was not the amazing pep you guys brought, and it was definitely not because you guys knew how to show me how you get down so well. <laughs> oh, and it definitely was not your stylish capes and plumes, but really it was the bond that you all had. You guys had such a friendly, loving bond that I wanted to be a part of so bad. After two monotonous years <coughs> living in regret, I finally decided to pick up my clarinet and join band again. Junior year was the turning point in my high school career. I finally, er, I felt like I finally fit in with something, and this is what I was missing. The best things that I've gotten out of band were the memories and the lifelong friends. Honestly, I would not be the person I am today if I, it was not for all my friends. I would like to thank so many people for making these my two years of band seem like millions. Some of the people I would like to specifically thank are Taylor Swanson, Meg Moravic, and Karina Dunn for being so friendly to me and always making me smile. I also would like to thank both Lexi Isley and Valajos and Mark Holmes for growing so close to me and teaching me skills I never thought I would get. Then there are my unforgettable friends in the clarinet section, like Peter, Jessica DeVos, Jess Gobley. Hey, don't forget Jazzy, because I know you want me. Eric Hassett and my lovely section leader, Julie Doctor. You guys helped me grow so much as a musician and helped me gain my confidence. I remember my first day of band camp, I hardly talked to anyone, and I was terrified. But Jess Gobley kept me calm and helped me through it. Other people I would like to thank are Mike Roberts, Sarah Rask, and Christina Ernst for giving us an understanding of pride and someone to look up to. <laughs> Lastly, I want to thank my junior slash sophomore <coughs> babies, Sarah Bernard, Sarah Kuchel, Michelle Rubino, and Mary Kay Turk. Hey, don't forget your sig figs. Uh, Luke Stewart, Kelly Pinkman, and Maura Kelly. I truly hope you guys have as much fun as I have and remember me in the future. And for my actual last thank you, I want to thank all the band parents for being so helpful and supportive, and Mr. Bailey and Ms. Sarmiento for putting all the time and effort and patience into us. We all know you guys don't have to be here, and you choose to. And you're, you work hard, and you're very dedicated to make us all better musicians. If I did not get the chance to thank you personally, no, you're still in my heart. Thank you for these past two years. I love you all. probably never heard me speak, let alone know my name. <laughs> so you know, it's a good thing for introductions after all. Thinking back over the past few years, I put a lot of thought into what I was going to say tonight, but there's a difference between thinking about it and actually remembering to write it down, so I'll do my best. Going into high school, I didn't even plan on joining marching band because I really didn't like junior high night, but my parents convinced me to join anyway. Thankfully, I'm happy I did because I would never have met all these amazing people with me today. Band has given me memories to be proud of, like being grand champions of Dwight, Illinois, twice. <laughs> An unforgettable Hawaiian adventure where we performed in memory of Pearl Harbor and section of the league for the clarinets, again, twice. <laughs> Speaking of clarinets, I feel privileged to have been part of one of the, mo one of the largest, most diverse, and socially awkward sections of the band. <laughs> for a lot of us, the dancing and screaming at football games is simply unheard of as freshman clarinet players, but don't worry, you grow out of it fast. <laughs> Time went by a little too fast in some cases, and my poem time limit is running out as I speak, so it's time for personal shout-outs. To the best Hawaii roommates ever, shake your body. And I'm sorry I talk in my sleep. To the, to the Fab Four, will always be the cutest, especially to Australian families. To Lauren Berry, procrastination, right? To Jess Gobley, I don't mind you creeping me out on a day-to-day -day basis. To Jess DeVos, the whole being drum major thing worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> 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 to both of us, to both of us. <laughs> to Kelly Mack, I'll, I'll always share my food with you on the bus. To Leslie Walk, Rome 2 is in my shoe and my doc book is in my pocket. To Laura, never stop laughing and look after Salad Girl for me. <laughs> to Sophie and Casey, meatloaf. To Josh Lee, you'll go far. To the clarinets, stop, never stop playing on most world. And finally to the directors, thank you so much for putting forth your best effort every day to make us better. The band wouldn't have gotten where we are without you.
When they said four years of high school would fly by, they weren't kidding. While my first season of marching band felt like, a, like an eternity, my next three years combined felt shorter than my freshman marching experience. But now that, but now that my last year is coming to a close, it's time to look back on all of the great times we've had with each other. There were plenty of long, exhausting days of practice that seemed like they'd never end, along with some bitterly cold night rehearsals and early Saturday night morning practices. But with all of those came the best moments of my four years at Sanford. Moments of pride, of accomplishment, of relief. Moments of laughing so hard that your abs hurt for three days. <laughs> We've all made so many close friendships that it'll be hard not to stay in touch after we ship off to college. Down the road when I'm in need of a laugh, I can think back to the creepy Elmo song. <laughs> or the dance in last year's show when I was front and center on the, on the video. <laughs> Or Brian LaPruma's refrigerator haiku. <laughs> Not to mention his pineapple. <laughs> or playing my clarinet like a siren. <laughs> or counting out loud, really, really loud. <laughs> and of course, Laura's laugh. <laughs> um, after everything we've been through, I can say without hesitation that being in this band has turned us into a family. all the memories I've made over the last four years and say them out loud to you because there are too many great ones, I don't want to leave any out, and I don't want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> Before I completely lose it, I want to say this. These moments, these amazing and cherishing moments, are the ones we will have forever. So there are others, but being a part of this marching band has given me the opportunity to be an inspiring individual and to be inspired by so many others with the same goals. These memories we receive from this experience are the ones that stay with us for life. They are taken with you and shape you into the person you are today or become. Without this band, I would be lost and unable to find out who I really am. I could not be more proud of what I and the rest of the seniors have been able to accomplish since freshman year. And I hope the following classes can accomplish just as much, if not more. I've been able to make irreplaceable friends and people who have become family to me. I've learned patience and focus to help me in the future, and now I hold thousands of times that I never want to forget. I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who's influenced me during my journey as a marching eagle. My friends, my family, and the amazing directors have done such an incredible job pushing me to give 100%. I would also like to thank the clarinets for being such a wonderful section and environment the last four years. I had such a blast with you guys. And finally, the seniors. We made it. We've marched 15 competitions, 11 parades, 23 football games, and 11 concert setting performances, including Hawaii. That's 60 total performances. So obviously, we've been through a lot. Enjoy your last few moments, because after all the hours we put in the marching band, you're going to miss it. Live in the moment. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. And as Dr. Seuss once said, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. I did not want to do this, my senior poem. Do I have much to say? Most of you won't understand. Well, no, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> the band directors, Annabelle Sarmiento, Mr. S. Bailey, you guys are so great. I'm glad to be in band for all my years here. You guys are so chill and people I can go to, except for last week at IMEA. <laughs> <laughs> But I might allude to you, so you listen up. I don't like the haiku idea, I would rather rhyme. I would just wrote this in a fry room for 30 was the time. <laughs> Hello, Clarinets. I made a song just for you. Hopefully, by now, you all know who's who. Sarah Berry, Kate McCarthy, Stark and Humanic, Edgar Hoff Gobley, we got Nate Flattig, McNamara, Amber Boys, Eklund Liberados, Clara V, Casey G, Amanda DeVos, Peter Vars again, the Asian, Sleek, Kalus, Rethina Struyo, can't forget Mike Layden, and Jessica DeVos. Sarah Toth, Amir Zagat, Amber Brittany Mueller. These seniors may go far, but you look forward to the future. Um, <laughs> uh, if you're the kid who was with me at the Winter Guard competition, remember the pizza gave from the fridge? No one was in suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> Or are you the one who I talked to so I could finally confess? Or the one who spent some mornings in the tech people in class? Or the one who was my best friend, or the insane drag racer guy? Or the one responsible quiet girl who was late with me at U of I? Or the sophomore who said the previous things but got so awesome? Or a kid who won the line from this last minute poem? Or the one who's been asking for college advice or the absolute video game nerds? 
Well, the planets who were present when we found that dead bird. <laughs> or any of those who were there when that fire ended Thanksgiving, or stayed in the driver's ed lot last year when it was downpouring. Or if you're anyone that I haven't mentioned, and everyone in this band, yeah, okay, stop right there. Um, I like you guys. <laughs> at Sandberg, I've met a lot of people and made many memories, most being with my fellow Martin Eagles. And the way that most bands like to recall their memories with their shoutouts. Mr. Swanson, keep separating Julie and Joe, you're doing a great job. Andrew Krasinga, I'll see you in court. Erica and Vicky, thank you for giving creepy and fun a new definition. Nikki Nudeski, you'll always remember Cheat Yourself and the many stories that we seem to collaborate together. Matt Berg, you always seem to manage to put a smile on my face even when I'm in a bad mood of band. Lauren, Rebecca, and Leslie, never again will I room with all four of you. For the last night in Hawaii consisted of screaming at one another to shut up. <laughs> Michaela, Sarah, Lauren, M, Sydney, Hannah, Sulo, and Julia, you'll always be some of my favorite freshmen, and I promise to keep in touch with you all. Sophia, let's hope that we'll never be shoved with four other people in the back of my mom's car again. Manny and Jackie, even though I have only recently become friends with you the past two years, I promise that we will keep in touch even when I'm away. So the trombone section for letting me be with your section, even though I'm only a clarinet player. Claire Nuts, you'll always be my home, and I hope you find a new person to make weird faces and many different actions in the section next year. <coughs> to the directors, thank you for making my four years with you so memorable, and always trying your best to make us do well. And to my mom and dad, who always stay up until I get home from many late competitions, and always seem to bring up the things that I would always forget. Thank you, Martin Eagles, for making all these years here the greatest. Even though I'll be off to a new band in the future, you Eagles will always be my home. So even though us seniors won't be gone for another couple months, I'll miss the tight bond that we always had together, and you know I'll be visiting next year. I've done a lot since I've been here, now time to make my last quiz clear. I've rapped, I've clapped, I've snapped, I've napped, when ham ate lamb, cheer, wham, and jam. Even wrapped in the Booyah crew for a good solid year or two. I'm getting sick of these rhymes because ain't nobody got the time. I'll give it to you straight and I'll try not to run late. <laughs> Real, can't wait to see you at the College of Killers next year. See us! <laughs> Missing Dan, yes. David, Matthew, and Brother Burns. On by the thousands of dollars! <laughs> <laughs> I remember to treat yourself! <laughs> hey Johnny, remember that corn? <laughs> it was still the best decision. <laughs> Alright, and Ben, always remember, it was never about Rachel. It was about it being fun to be good. <laughs> and just one more thing. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to start off my poem with anything too cheesy, so I won't do any of that remember well nonsense. What I will do, however, is write a confession of sorts, which goes as follows. I have never had a three-ring binder for band, ever. <laughs> I've been missing that screw that should hold in my lyre since about the first day I got the instrument. <laughs> I've had the same gloves and spats all four years. <laughs> my spats only fit me properly for two of those years. <laughs> I've only shown up early to band function about twice, all of accidents. <laughs> I've never voluntarily filled out a missing music form for marching band. <laughs> Somewhere in Hawaii, there is a hat labeled 24L with a gold S on it, and I now know hats are worth exactly 6775 each. <laughs> 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 For those of you who care, it takes 222 hats to equal the price of a maroon. <laughs> but as for any other claims, I'm totally innocent. With that out of the way, I'd like to thank most of you, especially the saxophones, for making Marching Band the rewarding experience it was. In return, I'd like to give you all, of a, riddle, uh, all a riddle that goes like this. I laugh behind lips of plastic, sealed air tight, and I remain here suspended, robbed mid-flight. Those who know of me shan't give me away, while from above I'll watch them, I'll watch them all day. Who am I? And there's a riddle. And, and it even rhymes, so there you go. <laughs> uh, now that's done, I'd like to end this poem, of course, with a quote that I believe is central to the values of this marching band. John D. Rockefeller said, I would rather earn 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts. 
And I believe that Mr. Rayleigh and Mr. Armiento can relate to this. Many times we've all listened to a frustrated band director talk about how we should put the time in and the effort for this to be good. And so I'd like to leave you all with this advice that you should give up your, you should all give your one percent and make this marching band better. <laughs> too hard to rhyme, but we showed them seniors, it's our time. That opening took me 20 minutes to write, blow a gasket, I might. <laughs> I end the rhyming here, enjoy the rest, please no tears. Hey Jesse, remember the ketchup on New Year's? You cheap. And Nick, Oak Brook shopping? I like ice skating better. Lauren, wrinkles. <laughs> Jackie, remember that guy who called, who called us who watched us while we were in the drive through Parker, those songs we turn off on the radio that magically become popular. Andrew, I'm really thankful that you put up with my stories. You too, Amani, thanks for putting up with me. Sean, I really enjoy that you let me do your hair in Hawaii. Taylor, get off that rock. Don't want to get bit by a scorpion. This is going in the book. And I can't forget the great memories I've made, like Dan McGee falling on the guardrail and the fateful night of Buffalo Wild Wings. You guys think Anton still has that video? <laughs> Freshman year bus, three to a seat, all season, party room. Hey Mark, why did you buy that tree frog? It told me to. But the best is the amazing opportunities I've had. Going to Hawaii, marching you by, and playing at Northwestern. And the most amazing friends I could have asked for. Lauren, you were the first to talk to me. Jess, you let me sit with you at lunch every, every year. Nick, when I awkwardly approached you. Tay, that jewel adventure with Bria. Sean, I really can't remember how we become friends. Jackie, Amani, Parker, Andrew, Johnny. I'm glad you guys decided to join and stay in the section after meeting me. I'm truly grateful to have met all of you, and thank God you gave me a chance, even though you all thought I was mean at first. Thanks to Van High School has been a great experience. The last four years have been a lot of fun. Too many people should have been shunned. <laughs> For my friends, family, and the music you wrote, I'd like to phrase this as my thank you. To Eric Hatzis, thank you for ignoring the call time and holding up the entire band. <laughs> to Adrian, thank you for being so punctual every rehearsal on <laughs> To Maj, I know you're not here, but thank you for sleeping on the balcony multiple times in Hawaii, even after getting caught. <laughs> to Peter, thank you for being the one person who knows just as much sign language as I do, which may or may not be a good one. <laughs> to Jackie Kaminsky, Thank you for saying verse every time we're on movement three. And just so you know, Karina and I say it too. <laughs> to Ryan Belden, thank you for not only creating a section rock, but then giving it to your little brother. <laughs> Best rap right over. <laughs> to Lauren, thank you for providing some of the funniest comments during rehearsal. <laughs> to Megan, thank you for breaking me out of my shell freshman year and for putting up with me ever since. To Nathan, thank you for being sane enough to be my friend. <laughs> Remember that time we learned about the creamery down the street? <laughs> Looking forward to the Christmas party so I can bestow some new garage sale items on you. Among others, you know who you are. <laughs> to Jess Gobley, thank you for not being a bugaboo, and for not only being a good friend, but a friend that can handle my comments at 7 a.m. All the awards will go to you when the time comes. <laughs> to all my saxophones, thank you for dealing with my snippy comments and the countless three-hour rehearsals I called on the spot. There's a reason some call me the best section leader ever. <laughs> Take notes, everyone. <laughs> Don't think you're exempt talking to you, Simba. <laughs> to Erica, I don't even know where to begin. Thank you for judging weird people at band competitions the same way I do. <laughs> Thank you for taking some of the best pictures, and not the ones where you pose, the ones where you photobomb. <laughs> and I know all of you are waiting for me to say something nice, but that'll come with others. <laughs> if I don't finish soon, they're going to take me out. When I go off to college, I don't think I'll pout. For the directors, my family, and the winners I call friends. Although I don't show it, I'm sad that marching band has come to its end. Especially with my last name being Barry. Okay, I'm done with the rhyming. But band is like a family. I still remember the first day of band camp my freshman year. It started off with many fears. At the end though, when we all found out that we were going to Hawaii, all those fears went away and we all got excited. No wonder why we all stayed. These four years went by so fast. Nick and Karina, remember when we told people in Hawaii that we were deaf? Whipping out with Jackie. 
Jess, Rebecca, and Leslie. I hope you room together again in Hawaii. Taylor, learn how to put on your own spats. Karina, Meg, Kiana, Jackie, and Maddie, we will always be in the pack, and you guys will always be my sex one sisters. Even though our section played Carol's Whisper a thousand times, sorry, Mr. Bailey, and we may not get section of the week for another four years, <laughs> we definitely are the best section in the band, and we clearly got section of the year. <coughs> Mr. Bailey and Mr. Sarmento, you guys are the mom and dad of the band. In Sarmi, we still need props, and where's our brownies? <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe these 40 seasons of marching band went by so fast. I can't believe I'm famous, but mom, you were right for making me join marching band. I promised myself I wouldn't end my, po end my poem with this phrase, but I couldn't think of anything else to say this but this. Even though I might be a senior, I will always be a marching band. Marching band my sophomore year, not knowing what I was getting myself into. Over these three years, I've gone through many names, from Rufus to Two Chips, <laughs> through many changes, from being that one kid that never talks, to being the one that yells marbles and calls out our section moves. Many of us may doubt why we joined this big of a commitment at one point or another, but I can say from first-hand experience that it's worth it. The people we meet, the places to go, and the things we say that we did all make us better people. I, for one, can say that I am truly thankful that I was also that I was able to be a member of a section as crazy as sex. This year has been extremely fun, and I never laughed more during a marching band season than this one. Thanks to Sean, Scott, and Manny. And don't get me started about Nick. So yeah, that's basically it. But take my advice. When it feels like you're on a never-ending ride on the struggle bus, <laughs> suck it up. You got a family that's 100 plus strong backing you up. And oh, by the way, it's not Hey Baby, it's Hey Ryan Beltman. And yes, I hope you grill. <laughs> family away from home, and Sandberg is my final home before I find my own. I would like to thank all my friends for a great four years, and I'm trying not to shed any tears. Thank you, my trumpets, for your fun and jokes, and thank you to Liz for all your funny quotes. Saxophones, you are the best, and flutes, try not to make a teary mess. Uh, clarinets and French horns and all the rest, thank you for a great time at band camp. Band is not like a refrigerator. <laughs> Once is luck, twice is skill, it's finally time to pay the bill. Band is my family away from home, home and I'm finally done reading my senior poem. Gold, white, black, and blue, the colors that connect all of us to you. Goodbyes are always come to go too soon, but the bonds we made are permanent like treble club tattoos. I know you and I go home tired and in need of rest, and long practices for short competitions put everyone's patience to the test. But we can all agree on one thing, we always went out there with our best. The highlight of my school days has never been a pencil, pen, or desk. If I would have been the same without this, or, what I, or where I would have been, I can't begin to guess. But when I come back, it's not just to a band, friends, music, sun or snow. It's just like how the North Star takes you where you want to go, or a lost dog can find its way home, and eagle will always fly back to its nest. When I started writing my senior poem, I was nervous it would sound like poo, but then I remembered that freshman year someone accidentally said poem, and Brian LaPuma wrote a haiku. <laughs> so I'll start with that bus ride when I kicked Lauren out of the seat. We're two hours of zoo and big booty. We're torture, not a treat. Stand up, sit down, run back to set one for Sandberg. We can do that because we got the moves like Grimberg. <laughs> Max, remember in Hawaii when we got yelled at for sitting on a rock? Then in a fight at the airport when we decided to yell instead of talk? Secret Island, I became good friends with Sean and Mark when they pushed me off a boat and I got bit by a shark. Junior year we learned to dance in the rain and that dealing with freshmen was a giant pain. I can't believe that this year I started singing Build Me Up Buttercup and running booty stretches was my favorite thing to get you all fired up. Erica, when I'm gone next year you don't have to grieve, but if worse comes to worse, just pull your pants down and leave. <laughs> Jackie and Amani, spring break 2013 was so great and Karina, you and I still need to go on a date. Th Dan, thank you for always being there for me and for being my best friend. I wish marching band never had to end. Dad, smiling at you in the stands while marching was the bomb. And Mother, thanks for turning out to being a pretty cool band mom. Mr. Bailey, you were right. The band hall did become a home, and I'll miss it dearly. So for making my high school experience so great, I want to thank all of you sincerely. I've learned a lot.
cotton band. I've met a lot of people, and they have made uh, a year's the best. To Jess for making band worth being in, and and for all I could do, good times uh, we've had. To Jacob for being that one uh, weird friend we all had, and how both uh, we forgot that uh, one joke last year. And for snapping her trombone in half. Uh, to my sister for not going wherever I go and always being there. Uh, to Amanda for being that close friend you've had uh, 30 years and making band the best they can be. To Taylor for being that, that, that crazy friend you always had. And uh, I'm only mentioning you because I'm stop bothering you about it. Uh, to Julia, you're going to be lost uh, without me. To Nick, it puts the lotion on its skin. To the band directors for teaching me all I know and getting me uh, ready for next year. And to my closest friends, sorry I couldn't put you in. It would have been uh, way too long. And to the trauma section, we are a crazy bunch and I love you guys. Thanks for everything. This is a collection of, th of my thoughts for the past four years here at Stanford. This is the sound of me reading my calendar at the beginning of the week. Band, 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 band. Hey, are you free this weekend? Uh, no, sorry, I'll be at band. Um, hey, what are you doing Saturday, like early in the morning, say around 8? Oh, um, I'll be at band. Oh, and how about that time I missed my championship baseball game to go to U of I freshman year? I wouldn't have had it any other way. I'm not going to start with a bunch of shout-outs that you probably will all get in love with. Justin, Jake, Marshall, Jenna, Abby, Natalie, Eric, Erica, Sarah, and my best bud in the whole wide world, Steve Wojo. <laughs> if you remember one thing that I've told you all this year, it's, guys, stag us tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> to Mr. Armiento and Mr. Swanson, we have the coolest handshakes ever. And to Mr. Bailey, sorry we never got to develop the coolest handshake ever. <laughs> to my mom and my dad, Thanks for making me stay in band and being the supportive parents that you are. Telling me that my solo rocked, even though it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> to the low brass, pill. That's it. That's to everyone in the band, thanks for everything. And my last piece of advice for everyone today is that if you want to write a good senior poem, don't wait until six minutes before Mike Roberts isn't accepting any more poems. <laughs> Long whistle, silence. Except for Tim Platt and Nick Bonner making strange animal sounds. <laughs> Soon followed by the yelling of a drum major. It didn't matter which one. I'm sure every single drum major in existence had yelled at the sousaphone section. <laughs> Ten sousaphones would be on the field, and then there was me, running to detail, about five minutes or ten minutes late. I guess you can't say it takes me a while to get somewhere. Um, Pedro, why are you late? became a phrase that I was very familiar with. I remember thinking freshman year, who cares? Honestly, this is marching band. It's not like I sold my soul or anything. Five minutes, no big deal. Why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, another thing for my application. That's how it started. Coming to practice used to be a joke, hearing people complain, doing repetitions of sets over and over and over again. Psh, marching band. The only amazing thing about this was how I managed to be late all the time. However, I was a freshman. I didn't know what this would be. I wouldn't know that I'd be laughing my head off at these practices or becoming more disciplined from the Sousa jumps in pregame. I wouldn't know the fun nights where me and the magic school bus would make names for everyone in our section. I wouldn't know that a Sousa phone girl existed, especially one who could play so well and put the whole section to shame. I wouldn't have known about the delicious cookies Fuzzy's mom bakes or that there was even someone named Fuzzy. I would have never realized that a certain individual who drove the whole Sousa phone section crazy last year was actually a pretty nice guy or about how energetic a certain freshman could be. I would have never created the best sousaphone move in existence without the help of Brother Bobby, Mike Hudson, and of course, Tommy Burns. I would never have improved my dancing skills without my fellow guys who I could rely on to be late with me all the time. And I would have never guessed about all the fantastic and outstanding memories that I created and now have with my gringo and my chica that I will remember for many years to come. However, even as a senior, I am still late. I still hear, um, Pedro, why are you late? And I realize I am. It's my reputation 
but I still wish I wasn't late. That I would not have missed the little yet important smalls that was present all four years. Because even though these four years were outstanding, there are still a few things I still wish I was not late on. Lastly, thank you, Mr. Bailey and Ms. Armiento, for putting up with me all these years. So now, my fellow marchers and forever my fellow eagles, enjoy it, because I certainly did. And don't be late, because that's kind of my thing. And, yes. <laughs> and plus, you don't know who or what you will miss in those five minutes. Contrary to popular belief, I'm not white. Give me a trophy. The rumor is true when you join Ben that you sell yourself a mischief, but he'll treat, he'll, treat, he'll, treat, he'll treat you right and he'll treat you nice. My most memorable, be my most memorable mem memories of band are probably mar marching raid, or was probably marching in the rain, celebrating Miss Samantha's thir 30th, and, and getting struck down by someone in color guard, not saying their names. <laughs> I learned I a learned new instrument and got new experience. I barely learned a new instrument. And I made some memorable friends along the way. And, and I bet they already made a thousand inside jokes already. All in all, it was time once but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my time, man. Thanks and thank Mr. Bain and Simon for letting me be part of it and giving me the great experience I had. Hey, Ben. Hey, boy. Goodbye. <laughs> that I hated my time marching band because that would make this really quick and without any chance of an emotional or embarrassing moment. <coughs> but I can't say that because it would be a complete and total lie. I loved every minute of being in this band and I've been proud to call myself a marching eagle. Every moment has been amazing from my first performance at U of I, to honoring the crew of the USS Arizona, and to finally going to Dwight without it downpouring. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All the great memories and meeting so many great musicians have helped me grow, and I wouldn't trade any of these moments for anything. I would go on, but given the chance, I tend to ramble, so on with this. Uh, Mr. Bailey, Mr. Sarmiento, I still haven't passed off for a movement forward of classic <laughs> If they don't make sense, sorry. <laughs> Hysterectomy. In band, I learned how to count those rad fivelets. Philadelphia. I made awesome friends, like Mary Anthony, who's awesome and my friend. <laughs> A shout out to Dave, Sarah, Erica, Nick, Mike. You're all great. Don't change. You traveled the world, toured Hawaii and Dwight, but almost the same. <laughs> I met my best friend. He's happy, bright, and sassy. No one down here. <laughs> I'll miss Dad a lot. But there's still seven months left. Well, I love you, Dad. This is the Lonely Planet Guide to the Carl Sandburg Marching Band. <laughs> Orientation. The noisy and crowded hallways may at first be intimidating. However, you will soon find that being a six foot, 250 pound giant clears that problem up. <laughs> you may find the population to be a little bit difficult to communicate with, especially in the drum line where onomatopoeia is the primary form of communication. <laughs> I, would I would suggest meeting with the clarinets first, as they're the most docile of the sections. What to bring? A water bottle? With water in it. <laughs> Sunscreen and a scarf in the event that it starts snowing. <laughs> when to go? If you go too early, you'll be subject to the herd of freshmen, and if you go too late, the local police force will bring you <laughs> Local customs. The marching band has a daily custom of whining whenever they're told to go outside. <laughs> Do not be put off by this, as it is unavoidable. Other unavoidable customs involve singing along to the marching band's national anthem, Hey baby, and taking pictures with stuffed animals. The singing and playing of Stand By Me may also be included, however, this is a rare occurrence. 
<laughs> the local religion is Veldwinism and it is best just to cooperate with the faithful as they have a history of stealing turtleneck sweaters. <laughs> Health! Do not drink from the water fountain in the banned region. <laughs> Bring your own water and do not lie on the ground. Also, instances of rabies were reported in those who spend excessive amounts of time in the back room. <laughs> <laughs> Dangers and annoyances. Watch out for the marching band's national bird, the bass drum. <laughs> the bass drum is infamous for its ability to coax teenage boys into jumping over it. <laughs> as it is taller than it looks. <laughs> Hard hats are required by OSHA. Moreover, if the drumline continues to play after the cutoff, be sure to wildly flail your limbs in their direction, <laughs> and then proceed in giving them a stern talking to, lest the local police force brings everyone in for interrogation. <laughs> Unacceptable excuses for not going to the Carl Sandburg marching band include apple picking in Georgia, <laughs> looking for tennis balls, AP underwater basket weaving, and not having a ride there. <laughs> Given my third grade writing skills, the idea of writing a poem that is actually poetic presented itself as impossible, but like, apparently we didn't actually have to write poems, they just, we just had to say a couple sentences. Uh, but my pursuit of poetic perfection begins. During this pursuit, I became aware that my talents lean more towards the line of breathing rhythms and not writing rhymes. Presented with the fact that I am a percussionist, I assume most of you would have predicted this. I also present you with the fact that rhyming is a lot of work, and for those of you who know me, know that extra work does excite me, and so does sarcasm. <laughs> but for this poem, the excitement is over. In the process of writing this, I realized that I had no idea what I actually wanted to write about, but I did know a couple of things that I didn't want to write about. In no disrespect to previous poems, I knew I didn't want to tell any inside jokes. Because to me, jokes tend to only be funny the first time they are told. And for inside jokes, the only people who are going to understand them are the people who have already heard them. I didn't want to be the kid with an obnoxiously long poem. What I did want was a poem that everyone would laugh at, but unfortunately that too is too much work. There was a particular person who had an extremely demanding request to be mentioned in my senior poem, so in spite of this poem, or in spite of this person, I would like to mention everyone except Tressa Cassiato. <laughs> My experiences, my experiences in band have been pretty good, but my experiences with the people in band have been incredible. It is really the people in band who have become my closest friends and created the band experience. Hannah O'Brien make no assumptions. In conclusion, I would like to remind members of this band, it is and always will be fun to be fun. Good. <laughs> You don't have a first name. I find it hilarious how everyone calls you Vlahos, and I'm glad I got that carry to carry over from Central. To Vicky, I will never forget all your weird faces every time I turn around and look at you. And also, every picture my mom takes, you somehow manage to photobomb them. <laughs> you can always make me laugh, and I love you. Uh, to Brian, I didn't really know you until this year, but I'm glad I did. I will never forget after a super long rehearsal when we got Julie the drag race. <laughs> One of the funniest moments of my life. But to Julie, you are my best friend that has always been since two been at my side since the second grade. I'm so glad we stuck by each other in band since fifth grade. Even though we're probably going to different colleges, I know you'll always be there for me. Aww. To Peter, you have turned into one of the craziest people I know. <laughs> <laughs> it could always <clears throat> make me laugh. Even when you continuously play Rhapsody in Blue or sound like a siren on your clarinet. <laughs> to Nathan, even though I've known you since freshman year, I'm so glad we came close this year. I know that I can talk to you about anything. I know that somehow, some way, you will manage to tackle me to the ground. To Nolan, I'm really glad that we became close friends this year also. I can always count on talking to you for the most random things and some funny, sarcastic sort. To Luke and Manny, I'm so, so glad we became friends this year. You're both hilarious and I love you so much. To Erica, 
Oh, Erica. <laughs> I love you so much, but seriously, the amount of times I've caught you breaking attention to booty dance and do whatever you do is too darn hot. <laughs> However, thanks for breaking me out of my shell. You always bring out the best in me and always can make me smile on that. Oh. Wait, no. Okay, to Mike and Christina. Yeah, I have no idea where to start. From all the Wendy's trips to laughing for 10 minutes about absolutely nothing, I cannot express how happy I am, how close we all are. Maybe too close. I love both of you to death and could not have made it through not just marching band, but senior year without me too. You gotta keep that group message going because 10,000 plus messages aren't enough. And Christina, you probably will be thrown in, into the coffee machine one more time. Um, to my mom and all the other band moms and dads, <clears throat> thank you for being there for all of us at our performances. We truly appreciate what you do. And to the whole marching band, you are all amazing and I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you for making my senior year as a marching eagle the best out of all my four. I love you guys so much. And finally, to the directors. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. I truly appreciate everything you do for all of us, and if it weren't for you, the band wouldn't be where it is today. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit because we're running short. Starting with freshman year, uh, my very first memory of March Man was a uh, band camp my freshman year. Believe me, I was extremely scared. Seniors, dot folks, band camp, seniors, other humans, the drum majors, music to memorize, drill to learn, seniors, and seniors some more. But I soon learned that the seniors were not skipping. Freshman year was filled with awesome memories. We took a journey with the rise of Rome at the beginning of the season, ending with the fall of Rome, literally, at U of I. Thank God for the scattered drill. Who couldn't forget the OK Go show with Anthony Cassiato and others dressed in ghillie suits with being escorted off the fields by the deans, a.k.a. Mr. Bain and Mr. Swanson. Don't worry, freshmen, it was a part of the show. Freshman year was an awesome one. On sophomore year, this is where we explored our horoscopes, the Zodiac. Still remembering yelling at the front flock of trumpets to dress the ark. Sorry to Luke, Mary Kate, Meager, and the rest of the junior trumpets for my non squad leader leadership skills. Uh, we danced to Party Rock Anthem with JC Breakdancing, and we went to Hawaii. Hawaii was not only fun, but something else that will stay with me forever. Dog the Potty Hunter was on, my, uh, on our plane, people getting sick and dropping left and right, ABC stores everywhere, playing on the deck of USS Missouri, and marching on the parade, wondering why so many Asian people are taking pictures of us uh, with their iPads. <laughs> now, on to Junior. I was fortunate enough to be granted with the honor of drum major, and I'm so thankful because it changed my life forever. We danced through classic schizophrenia, both classically and with break dancing. I cannot forget watching the video of St. Rita competition with Peter on the close-up of you screaming, Oh! Followed <laughs> by his, his impressive break dancing skills. And who could forget the rain day where we had a march off in the rain and people were rolling around in the aisles of mud. Uh, finally, senior, the beginning of the last. I dreaded this being a senior because I never wanted to leave Marching Man and to read this poem. But this year couldn't have been better. Being inducted into the U.S. Army All American Marching Man with Mike Heads everywhere. Uh, what a memory that I cannot forget. Our competitive show, Rock and Roll, changes to Marching Man. Underclassmen, build off of what we got this year because I know you guys have so much potential. Now on to some personal stuff. Jessica, thanks for being one of the greatest friends someone could ask for. Luke, oh, thanks for being the brother I never had. And yes, we will march drum for you guys one day. Sarah, Christina, I can't even put into words what we are to each other, but I'm thankful for having the opportunity to be partners in front. Can you show me to where to find these? Mary Kate, our analogies every day, tries to make Mary Kate laugh here. <laughs> Peter, you, you, what? Uh, your sirens are, okay. Uh, thanks for being one of the greatest friends I will ever have. To, and everybody else I couldn't mention because I'm running short of time, I am thankful for you guys. Uh, to, uh, on a more serious note, I want to thank the band directors for all their motivation these past four years. I'm so grateful for the work and effort you put into this band. To my parents, you guys are amazing. The amount of support you guys give me, I cannot be grateful enough. I love you guys, and finally, thank you to my family, yes, my second family. Here's to all the times we've played a hundred, in 100 degree weather, in the rain, yeah. in the cold, the countless times singing Hey Baby at the top of your lungs, screaming Eagle Pride at the end of the a spirit chant, making unlimited amounts of shout outs, <coughs> making friends on bus rides, and building a family. Thank you, Marching Eagles, for being my second home. I miss this so much because I knew all of you. I have been changed for good. My eyes will forever be filled with pride. This isn't goodbye, but see you later.
Um, all right, so you get this here. Actually, the idea is from Andrew. Um, when they open them, they'll see what they are. These are really a true director's gift. Um, they're a little late now, but they definitely use them next year and in many years to come. It's still um, cold. What? It's still cold. <laughs> right. We have Mr. Bailey. We're going to start it so come back. Actually, all the directors. Dave, yeah. Yeah. Kapolis, yeah. Cassiato. Michelle. You can try your best <laughs> to make your way down here. <laughs> First and foremost, yeah. no, time to thank you all in more detail. Um, please remember you always have a home here and we look forward to all of you coming back and, and telling us all the wonderful things you're doing and uh, you, always, you always do have a home with the marching band. It sounds like a line but it's true. <laughs> Unfortunately we do have a little bit of a, actually a fairly large time problem now. Um, I need everyone to stay seated except for the seniors uh, marching band members first, you need to get everything you need and get out to the stadium immediately, followed by the senior parents. Okay, Parkinson, yes. Okay. Okay.